Hello, Madeline Tiller with your Council News Update. Council has received $10 million of state government funding to begin major roadwork in the Charlton Wellcam Enterprise area. The Queensland Government's royalties for the Regions Funds will be allocated to the $21 million Omar Road Upgrade Stage 1A. This will improve the Omar Road connection to the Warrego Highway. Uh, look, we identified Omara's Road as one of the critical infrastructure projects that we as a council needed to do. Uh, we're doing it because of the activity there will be down Omara's Road, the fact that it needs developing so that that activity can occur, those jobs can be created. Uh, we're delighted that the State Government has come in to partner us in the construction of Stage 1. Council will now submit a detailed business case for the project to confirm the funding by the end of the year. In other news, a collection of the region's quirky and little known attractions have been showcased in a new book launched this week. The Heritage Treasures of the Toowoomba Region 2013 is a revision of Toowoomba Heritage Treasures 2008 and was launched by Toowoomba Mayor Paul Antonio at City Hall on Monday. Local historian Professor Morris French contributed to the book. Two years ago we uh, invited members of the wider Toowoomba region to submit uh, uh, possible sites or items for inclusion in an updated uh, book and so over the last two years we've been sorting through about 60 uh, submissions uh, and have added about a dozen or 14 or so to uh, an expanded and updated revised book for 2013. Uh, there are some interesting uh, items submitted from the region, uh, most notably uh, some silos on the Pittsworth Road, uh, the Tivoli Theatre uh, in Clifton. Uh, all these are, are heritage treasures and we hope that this book might inspire uh, people to uh, submit items in their own possession or in, the, in their own locale for consideration for a possible future edition in a few three or four years time. Residents in the Pittsworth area are invited to take part in a community engagement forum at the Pittsworth Technology Centre tonight. Councillor Anne Glasheen said the forum was a great opportunity for residents to share their views on local issues and future plans for the area. I'd like to encourage um, everybody from Pittsworth and also around the districts to come and talk to councillors. There will be councillors and senior staff there, so I'd like to encourage everybody to come along and have a chat. With Christmas only eight weeks away, council is dusting off the decorations in preparation for a bigger than ever lights display. Councillor Jeff McDonald and Lions Club of Toowoomba West President Marshall Cox give us a sneak peek of what's to come. I'm with Marshall here at the at the Christmas Wonderland Lights, the, the work shed where all the elves get to work and Marshall how's things getting underway for, for Christmas but I guess from a from a civic uh, point of view the City Hall being lit up for the first time how are the preparations going for that? They're going really well Jeff and um, it's only with the cooperation of the guys with Lions and, and the Toowoomba Regional Council that um, that we've been able to achieve what we have and we're, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. It gives us an opportunity to uh, expand uh, what we do in the park down into the city. Yeah, it's been an institution, has it, over Christmas time, the Wonderland of Lights up in Queen's Park. But I guess, focusing on City Hall just for a moment, what can people expect to see? Um, they can see um, City Hall changing colour at night time. Um, we'll have the traditional Christmas with a nativity scene and uh, and all the, the features that go with that. Then on the opposite side of the, of the City Hall we'll have uh, the commercial side of Christmas with a Christmas tree and, and Santa and uh, the things like that. The final call has gone out to find those special Australians who have done our region proud. Nominations for the 2014 Australia Day Awards close tomorrow. I'd like to encourage everybody to think about who they want to nominate. We're trying to get our nominations in early so that we're all prepared for um, Australia Day in January. Newtown Park will celebrate its 100th birthday this Sunday. Festivities begin at 10am in the State Rose Garden. And that's it for this week's news. You can keep up with everything that's happening at Council via our website, Facebook or Twitter pages. And of course, please join us next Wednesday for another edition of Council News.